Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the real one. Coming back to you, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you with another NBA main slate video. You guys like double overtimes? You guys like overtimes? Uh, exciting basketball today. Exciting to watch. Uh, a lot of good games. It's better than these uh, blowouts we've been having. But um, this slate coming up should be interesting. Again, all the... Uh, Brooklyn players, the starters will be sitting. So we'll have the G League team out there. So I'll be rooting for them personally. Because last time they took down the Bucks, So um, I believe they got the Clippers this game. So let's see if they can do it again. Um, hopefully, most importantly, you guys got that big, hefty bag you guys cashed. Um, and let's go. Let's see what, how we did in the DFS club. So as always, I show. So today's winnings. MLB after hour slate got a 131. Excuse me, DraftKings after hours cashed. Baseball we still don't lose. We don't. This is a this is an incredible streak. I can't even like. I'll be shocked once we do. And then MMA we cashed. Got a 513. Man, how about Darush and Lewis? Man, those guys are fucking dangerous. Um, early only slate. Look at that. I got a 182 on FanDuel MLB. NBA got a 301. Uh, Spider Mitchell, man, went off. Everybody went off. Except for, you know who? Miles Turner. That bum. <laughs> More MLB for you guys. The early slate. The hell was that? And then almost the takedown, guys. Top 20. Top 20. So, got a 147. I was about 20 points away. It wasn't that close, but still. Top 20, I'll take that every single day. And, again, these are the lineups that um, I dropped for the club. So, everybody got to play them and use them, and it was a great time. Come join us, guys, www.dfsclub.com. The Daily Fantasy Sports Powerhouse. Sorry, I paused there, guys. I heard a weird-ass noise behind me. And I come to find out it was just Schroeder coming out of his mom's room. So, sorry about that. Um, you get every single sport. And you get DFS space. You get the DFS whispers. You get myself, Skywalker DFS, KBO, NBA, NFL, NBA, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA. And in case you're wondering, I got three hours of sleep again. So... Hopefully, I can call it early tonight and get some damn sleep for once. I did three videos last night. I'm going to do two tonight. I haven't taken a day off. Not once. Not once. <laughs> uh, click the Join Now button. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And pick your plan, guys. This is for every single sport. Everything. And everything I just showed you, we play them all. Those are just the sports I play. I can show you all the members for, like, eSports and freaking nascar and everything else that happened today so come get it guys the cheapest in the industry and the best damn community i wanted to show you a testimonial here from uh shout out to captain marvel so i met him when we were doing the horse racing right so he says everyone i just want to say thank you for all the help and friendship being an old guy like myself uh dfs sports keeps my mind working i've been in chats before and assholes you know the keyboard warriors chased me away, but not here. So thank you. Special shout out to my new bud, Skywalker DFS, who turned me on to this. I got to know Sky when there was no sports, but horse racing. And he'd go live and make money. And, and more importantly, we had fun. See, I still wasn't taking days off then. DFS Space, thank you for your hard work you put into this. I watch your videos daily and enjoy them so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now let's wait, cash. These are the type of people we got in the DFS club, guys. These are all our new members. Come check it out. Thank you, Captain Marvel. I appreciate that, brother. That means a lot. That just made my day. If I can get more than uh, five hours of sleep, that'll even make my day even more. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get through the video because um, we won't stop and we can't stop. So I better I better pop one of these in my body. Rockstar. Cheers, everybody. Happy uh, Saturday night. <sighs> Every day. That I don't have to see my baby's mama is a blessing. That's a good day. 
All right, so injury statuses. Patrick Beverly's questionable. So, yeah, these guys are out. LaVert, Jared Allen, Joe Harris. Rashawn Holmes is out. Bruno, who cares? Uh, Westbrook's going to be out. Whiteside, questionable, hurt himself. And these bums, Steven Adams is out. How about Finney Smith? Huh? I almost pulled the, the trigger on him today. I should have. He got like 46 fantasy points. Finney Smith. That's a sick-ass name. I wish my name was Finney. All right, so let's go. We're going to start off at center because it's just funner this way, I think. So top option is going to be Joel Embiid going up against Portland. Um, I guess you can go here. I don't think center is the way to go to pay up on this slate. I think there's more value to be had at center. Um, not that Joel Embiid is a bad play, but I don't see myself paying up top dollar for center. But Embiid is definitely in there. Against Portland, ranked 20th in the league against centers, guys. It's 10-6 and B. Get him in there. You can't lose. It is what it is. Next up, we got Nurkic at 8-9. I still love that price. Now, he's going up against Embiid. That kind of scares me a little bit, but not enough not to play him. Last time against them, he got 44. 8-9, you want 40 or more fantasy points to pay off that price tag. So, Nurkic, get him in there. Let's see. Next up, Busevich. I like this play, too. Almost love it at 8-2. He's almost at 8K. That's craziness. Going up against Boston. Their defense down low don't scare me at all. Uh, Busevich is having an okay season. As long as he gets over 40 fantasy points, he should be all right. He plays mid-30 minutes. Uh, 45, 32, 43, 46. So he still, we still want that 50-point game from Booch. And don't let it be the game when you don't play him. All right? Next up, probably the only Pelican I somewhat trust. And it depends on the minutes. Is Zion Williamson? If he's gonna get freaking 21 minutes for seven eight, fade him. If he's gonna get a full game, fade him. I don't know what's up with the Pelicans. I don't even know why they showed up to the bubble. They shouldn't even showed up. They got no heart. They don't play nobody. Um, yeah, they should have let another team in. Just send them out. Pack their bags and send them. Um, I will be fading all Pelicans this late. I'm not a Pelicans fan. I don't hate them. It's just, I don't know what the fuck they're doing this year. Like, really? Like, why'd you even show up? To get a paycheck, probably, and then that's it. Um, oh, Horford, 6'5", with no uh, Richard Simmons. He's in play. He had a good game last game. Got 30 minutes, 37 fantasy points. And he loves to play against Portland. 48 and 32, 32, 21, 47 in his last five against Portland. It's a great matchup. They're ranked 30th in the league. Against centers, guys, or and power forwards. So Al Horford, sneaky, sneaky at six five. I don't think he'll be highly owned at all. Um, let's see, PJ Tucker. You could go there for some value at four two. He did play thirty six minutes last game, and no Russell Westbrook. So with no Russell Westbrook, he'll probably play the same amount, if not more. And if his shots are dropping, which is rare, I know it's rare. You could come up here on four two. 4-2, you're not really risking much. That's not much salary to risk. And then next up, I got a couple more here. Let me check them right now. I got Nerns Noel. He burnt us last time, but you know what? The whole OKC team did. But this time, they get a good matchup against Washington. Washington plays no defense in any position. So look for Noel to be uber chalk, though, at 3-9. So if you want to fade him, I wouldn't blame you. Cash games is okay. GPPs, if you want to fade him. Coming off a 19-point fantasy game, hopefully that won't be – that'll piss a lot of people off, and they'll be like, screw him. I'm not going to play him. Um, but I don't know. I, I see him being chalky. Next up, Alex Lynn. So, no Rashawn Holmes. I'm going to assume that Alex Lynn gets a start. And you all remember Alex Lynn from Atlanta, right? He can do some damage, especially at 3-4. Going up against Houston. Great matchup. Last time he played him, he got 30 fantasy points. So, 3-4. Instead of Noel, I might go uh, Alex Len for even a cheaper price. Let's see. Of course, next up, Thomas Bryant. Do I even got to tell you why? He's only 7-4. 42, 47, 44 fantasy points. One of the most consistent players we've seen so far in the bubble. 
Thomas Bryant, get him in there at 7-4, going up against OKC, some Nerlens Noel defense. Then next up, we got Jonas Valanciunas coming off a game where he got in a big-time foul trouble, played only 24 minutes, but got 40 fantasy points. Going up against Toronto, who, I don't know, they're a different team this year. The only one I really trust out of Toronto is, like, Van Vliet. That's it. The rest, like Siakam, they're garbage. I don't, I, I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird year. It's 2020. You know what else can I say? But Joe Val at seven two. You see what I mean? All these options, you don't gotta pay up for Embiid. You don't gotta pay up for center. Um, get him in there. Next up, Rui. Safe play at five eight. You know he's not gonna totally go out there and fuck the dog on you. Last time he got 30 fantasy points against OKC. I see another 30-point game. He plays almost 40 minutes a game, ladies and gentlemen. And nobody ever talks about him. Rui Hachimura egg. Sound like a goddamn Easter candy. Get him in there at 5-8. Next up, Zubak. There are so many. It's like I'm going over point guards, right? Zubak's in play at 5-4. Going up against Brooklyn. Bigs against Brooklyn. Um, and... I'm rooting for that G League team, just like I was last time. So he gets consistently 24 minutes a game. He's been consistently getting JaVale McGee type of fantasy point for minutes. 35, 45 fantasy points in his last two. I believe he got 30 tonight. So Zubak, definitely get him in there. I mean, Paul George and might be, you know, it's back-to-back. -back. So Paul George, I mean, uh, he might be gone, resting. Because the Clippers already got it in the bag. They don't got nothing to play for. Kawhi could rest. I mean, you never know. You never know. So we'll see what happens. Get him in there. And also, Jakob Potl. 5-4. Finally goes out and has a good game. Got 30 minutes, 42 fantasy points. It's just Popovich, right? If he's going to get the start at 5-4 against New Orleans, get him in there. All right? Next up, Jeff Green. I played him last late. He got me 30 fantasy points. He made the 30-point club. So if you're new, the 30-point club is if when you're rostering your roster, if you're rostering a player and you're not 100% certain they're going to get you at least 30, don't roster them. What are you doing? Don't take a chance on one of these 3K bums. Oh, maybe they'll get me 10 or 15. Guess what? That ain't going to get the job done, especially on FanDuel. FanDuel, you got to score like 400 fantasy points to even cash. So keep that in mind. So when I say 30-point club, that's what I mean. But Jeff Green got me there last time. Only played 27 minutes. He comes off the bench. Um, as this game blows out, he'll get more run. So he's worth a look at 4K. Karooks, ugh, gross. But who else is going to play? Arsenio Hall? So, Krooks will probably get the start for Brooklyn. 4K. Uh, it used to be bigs against Clippers, too, if you guys remember. No Montrezl, so he'll be going up against Subak. I guess 4K, Krooks, and but I'm not excited about it. Not one bit. All right, next up. Don't you dare be sour. Clap your hands and feel the power. We're going to go to power forward. Yes, sir. Let's go. I don't know where that burst of energy just came from. Maybe that, that shot of Rockstar I just had. <laughs> All right. So we got Tobias Harris at 8-7. No, Ben Simmons went out there. If you guys remember, whenever Ben Simmons is out, Toby shines. 8-7 is very steep, and that'll drive ownership off. But he got 39 minutes, got 50 fantasy points last game. Not to mention last time he played Portland, he got 42. So, sneaky, sneaky Tobias, if you want to put him at power forward, small forward, even, at 8-7 to get some of that value in there, Stars and Scrubs might be the way to go on this slate. So, Tobias Harris, get him in there. Nobody else is going to talk about him. DeMar DeRozan, 8K, perfectly priced. He just, we don't know what he's going to do, but I do like the matchup against New Orleans. Plays no defense. 8K is a good price. 30-point club, yes. Hopefully he gets one of them 47-point fantasy games like he had two games ago, but we'll see. We will see. It's just blowouts and foul troubles just fucking everybody up this year. Next up, Jason Tatum, as DFS Space would pronounce it, because he's from uh, the South. You know, he got that Southern draw, so I like the 
give him a hard time. He says Jason Tatum at seven nine, guys. Um, matchup should be good. Should be a close game. So he's under eight K. Um, again, last time against Orlando, he got sixty two. He's having a good year. So at seven nine, you could do could do worse. I'm never a fan of rostering Boston Celtic guys, but hey. Those are the guys that got me the takedown this week, so I can never say that again. Except for Kemba. Never Kemba Walker. Never, ever. But Jason Tatum, you can get him in there with confidence at 7-9. Robert Covington, 6'4". You know he's going to get 30-plus minutes, mid-30s minutes. 30-point club at 6'4". The price is kind of steep. Um, but this is a, a matchup against some Sacramento Queens where he can get there at least 30. So. 6-4, you kind of honestly want 35 to 40 fantasy points, but if you want to take a shot at Covington, you can, but it wouldn't be number, my number one priority. But just throwing it out there, keep it in your back pocket. Next up, a lot of people are going to be mad at him. Daniel Gallinari coming off an 18-point fantasy game, 19 minutes. This whole team went out there and fucked the dog, all right, that last game. But I think that will drive his ownership down. Anytime Dano's under 5-9, and a great matchup against Washington, you got to get him in there, guys. You got to give him another chance. Get him in there at 5-9. Belizzi at 4-9. I mean, he was in there the whole game with when Rashawn Holmes was out and still didn't do anything. I don't see that. Brendan Clark, hell no. Guy's garbage. Um, Marcus Morris, 4-7. So he gets 30 minutes a game, guys. Again, if Kawhi or Paul George are out tomorrow, especially get Marcus Morris in there at 4-7 and just move on. Against Brooklyn, he gets nothing but 30 burgers his last three games. So Marcus Morris at 4-7, he might carry the load tomorrow. Let's see, we got Rudy Gay priced up to 5-7, but worth it. Very, very worth it. 30-point club and then some. Um, he comes off the bench too, which is nuts, right? 24, 26, 21 minutes. 29, 42, 34 fantasy points. And a great matchup against New Orleans. Get them in there, guys, at 5-7. A lot of players will go over today. Next up, we got Melo, Carmelo Anthony at 5-4. Coming off a bad game, but he still had 31 minutes. So going up against Philly, you could go there, 30-point club. Um, Dame's going to need some help. Dame had a bad game, and I played in one of my lineups. And it was it was an absolute fucking nightmare, but it's it happens, you know. I'm not gonna talk shit about Dame. He's right. He's from right here, from the from Oakland, from the Bay Area. So I'll give him a pass this time. Don't come hunt me down, Dame. Um, Carmelo Anthony, pretty safe at five four. Next up, you got Roadhouse, Daniel House with no Westbrook at five one. Prices up a little bit. Um, Gets the minutes, just like P.J. Tucker, right? 30-plus minutes a game. 30-point club, very possible. If his shots are dropping, his threes, he could go off, guys. Um, at 5-1, you're taking a risk, but it is what it is. Not not a number one priority. Not a 30-point club, maybe. It's one of those you're like, is he going to give me 30? I don't know. So put him in your back pocket. All right. So we got uh, TL here, TLC, whatever everybody calls him, from Brooklyn at 3-9. He did pretty good last time, uh, everybody set out. So I wouldn't mind going back here again at 3-9. Um, yeah, he did really good. He got he did do, he, what, 30 points, 30-plus 30 fantasy points. So get him in there. Uh, Lance Thomas, no thank you. Don't got to go there. Okay. All right, so let's go to small forward. All right, so Kawhi Leonard, 9-3. Nah, don't need to do that. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, Paul George, no. I'm just so afraid of a blowout. Even though I'm going to be rooting for them guys, I'm just afraid of the blowout. However, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Sacramento Queens at 5-3. Been having a hell of the last two games. Mid-30s, almost 40 minutes, 50, 38 fantasy points. Get him in there 5-3. Definitely, I think, 30-point club right here. 
Um, should be a decent amount of run against Houston. You never know with this coach, but hey, I just know he hates Buddy Hield, so I ain't got to worry about that. Bogdanovich, get him in there. Him and Fox are like carrying this team. All right, we already went over Morris. Next up, Troy Brown. It's OKC 5-8 is okay. He'll be uber chalk. If he's like really like 60% owned, I'm like, I'm going to fade him. I just have a gut feeling he's going to have a floor game. OKC is pretty tough defensively. I know a lot of people are going to play him. And, and why wouldn't they? 47, 31, 30 fantasy points. He's only 5-8. So, Troy Brown, you can definitely play him, but just expect him to be like 60% or higher owned. All right, so let's see. Garrett Jedi Temple at 5K. Hey, he went off last time. He got the start, so he will get the start. Another one of my favorite Brooklyn uh, players. Get him in there at 5K. Next up, Gary Trent Jr. came through again. This guy is just money in the bank. Oh, look who we got here. Another Skywalker here. He came to say hi to everyone, and look at him. He zoned in on the player pool. You know, my does the baseball videos with me, guys. He does his home run calls. He's up and awake tonight. Last night, he was out cold like I should have been, but he just wanted to come by and say hi. This is Schroeder Skywalker, the best home run caller on YouTube. I know he's a cat, and it's silly, but hey, watch my watch my baseball videos and judge for yourself. He called him today, but yeah, Gary Trent Jr. at 5K, get him in there. He's never uber chalk, and I don't get it. I don't get it, but I'll take it. Ben McLemore, 3-8. With no Russell Westbrook, plug and play. He'll get the start again. Last game got 30 minutes, got 33 fantasy points. Ben McLemore, he looks like an alien here, right here. See the alien tentacles? Every time I see him, I'm far away. Look like one of them old school aliens, but get him in there at 3-8. The McLemore, baby. All right, so let's go to shooting guard. Schroeder's going to hang out with us today. All right, I like it. So James Harden, I'm definitely going to pay up here at 11-3. No Russell Westbrook. I want a 70-point game, or I'm not going to be happy, damn it. I know he'll be uber chalk. Thank you for the kiss, Schroeder. It was very nice of you. Um, I know he'll be – oh, I'm hoping that price tag will drive the ownership away, but let's be realistic. It probably won't. Um, but if you can't fade him, guys, if you fade him and he goes off, your lineup's dead. It's that simple. So there's plenty of value. 11 3 James Harden, get him in there. 9 1 for Drew Holiday, get the fuck out of here. Ain't no damn way. Ain't no damn way at 9 1. I wouldn't play Drew Holiday for 3 1. For crying out loud. How about, however, we got Fred Van Vliet against Memphis. Where do I sign up? We love to attack Memphis with guards, guys. Get him in there. He's the man this year. He had a floor game, which is a 30, 7 5, 52 and 46 before that. Get him in there, guys. I believe it was a blowout last time. That's why he didn't, you know, he only got 30 minutes as opposed to 40. But Fred Van Vliet's always my go to dude. Next up, Shea Gill Alexander, like everybody else on that team, had a bad game. Really bad. Everyone wanted to punch him right in the puss. But 7-2, I mean, you got you to take a shot here. No, Schroeder, Schroeder's favorite player. I love how he watches, guys. He seriously does. Um, no Schroeder. So, Shea Gill at 7-2. Hopefully, the ownership will be gone. Get him in there. Next up, Jalen Brown's always a safe 30-point club player. Always. 6-9, he'll get you 30-plus. And then just move on. Then next up, we got forehead. Derek White at 6-1. Another one of Popovich's guys that I trust. Um, 33, 33 minutes. 45, 43, 30 fantasy points in his last three. 6-1. Going up against New Orleans. Forehead at 6-1? Yes, get him in there. Fournier, maybe. Um, he, he did decent. 33 minutes, 30 fantasy points. 30-point club. At 5-6, all you want is 30, 30 points. That's it. So just just the option. He's just scoring dependent. Next up, Garth Brooks' illegitimate son. I told y'all. Hopefully you played him. 
Dylan Brooks, the best kept secret in fantasy sports. He's only 5'5". Five five. Um, only played 26 minutes, but got 38 fantasy points. You know why? Because he's more. Dylan Brooks is magic. He's got Garth Brooks DNA in him. All right, so get him in there at 5'5". Five five. Sweet Lou started off really hot. All my members were all excited. I'm like, relax. They're, they're going to bench him, and that's exactly what they did. He got 20 fantasy points after getting 20. He got 20 fantasy points, and then he stopped. <laughs> so temper your expectations with Sweet Lou. Um, I know 5'3 is very tempting, but they're not going to push it with him. Not until playoff time. Um, Alex Burks is a possibility with no uh, um, Ben Simmons. So 4'2". Got 27 minutes last game, 31 fantasy points. Against Portland, it's a great matchup. They're almost last in the league against uh, guards. So Alex Burks, you can definitely get him in there at 4-2. 30-point club, yeah. Let's see. A lot of players, guys. I just have so many favorites. Tyler Johnson's an option, not my favorite option at 5-4. He did okay, mid-20s fantasy points last time. Um, Yeah. 5-4, I probably won't go there. But he probably will get the start, and everyone will get excited, and then he'll go out there and get 20 fantasy points. Hey, I'm called the real one for a reason, because I keep it 100. All right, so let's go to point guard. You'll see a lot of the same cats. Damian Lillard, no, I'll just pay up and go hard in here. Um, but if you want to be different, go Lillard instead. Not a bad idea. A good, good rebound game. CP3, Chris Paul, going up against Washington. We're going to attack Washington with all these guards. He's only 8-3, guys. CP3 is not having that great of a season in the bubble. His highest was a, what, a 48? Look for a 48 again against OKC, guys. Um, 8-3. That's, that's too cheap. He should be a, nah, maybe 8-7 is what he normally is. Next up, another man that's too cheap, Darren Fox, guys. 7-8. Between the two, I play him Fox. Give me some Darren Fox. Um, 36, 57, 49. He's just had a higher ceiling this season. You know he'll get the minutes. 30-plus minutes a game. Darren Fox, get him in there at 7, 8. Okay, let's see. Like I said, I ain't playing none of these damn Pelicans. I sure as hell ain't playing DeJounte Murray at 6K. Ain't no damn way. I don't trust Popovich. Next up, you ain't Ish Smith. 5-2, coming off a 50-point fantasy game. Will he do it again? No. But he gets 30 minutes a game. Um, going up against OKC, he should get at least 30 fantasy points. So I do like that at 5-2, 30-point club. That's right. Next up, Kyle Lowry, 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Since that 64-point game, 23, 37, 36, I mean, for 8-8, I'm going to pass. John Morant, I'm going to pass. 8-6, no. No. Uh, Reggie Jackson. So if he gets a start, um, Patrick Beverly's out. And if Reggie Jackson gets a start at 5-5, five, five, get him in there. Get him in there. He can get 30-40 easily. Let's see, Tyler. All right, so that's going to do it. So we went through 46 watch players. That's like double the amount. It is. Normally, it's like 21, but there's just so many ways to, to go tomorrow. Um, it's an early, sl early slate start. I don't even want to fucking know. What. It's probably 930 in the morning for me, but you guys on the East Coast got it made, man. Everything starts later over there. Even football on Sundays starts at like 1 p.m. Here's 10 a.m. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Don't forget, www.dfsclub.com. Come join the family. We'd love to have you. The best community out there. Um, and all we do is win, win, win. I don't know who does that rap song, but let me know in the comments below. Um, the cheapest in the industry, guys. We would definitely love to have you. And this is Draft Dashboard. The best optimizer on the planet, hands down. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have draft dashboard, guys. You get access to all my watch players, all my save lineups, the lineup optimizer, which is this. So you can make as many lineups as you want, which consists of all my watch players, 
all your watch players and who draft dashboard things you should play. You can do GPP lineups and cash lineups. So you hit the, I mean, let's say you don't like this. This is a solid lineup. You don't like it, right? You want, you want a different one. Hit generate again. You can do this a thousand million times, guys. It's fun. You can play around with it. It's all good. You can do cash games, guys. This is draft dashboard. One dollar for 30 days. And that's going to do it. So let's get this bread, guys. There's lots of, lots of ways we can go. I'm sure we'll wake up and find some outrageous news that somebody isn't going to play. And then we'll go from there. But let's say our prayer. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. God bless your friends, families, and your neighbors if you like them. Um, let's get this spread. Don't take shit from nobody. Schroeder and I, we are out, y'all. See you guys tomorrow. Take care.